I'm Tina Cagadellis for FilmSpeak. Um, I'm here talking with two of the stars from the upcoming Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter. With me now, I've got Audrey Grace and Tyler. Welcome, guys. I'm very excited to talk to you. Thank you. We are too. Awesome. Um, so my first question is for both of you. I'm assuming you weren't watching TV when the original series came <laughs> out. <laughs> is that a safe bet? <laughs> I we both have older siblings so I I actually had seen a lot of the episodes it was one of my favorite shows growing up I loved old school Nickelodeon so I watched a lot of the OG I'd seen quite a few episodes before I got the audition yeah well I mean I saw I've seen a couple episodes before the audition and I was like oh yeah this is cool but then my brothers and sisters were like oh my god you have to this you have to get this and I was like okay 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 and then and honestly after like reading the script and stuff I was like this looks amazing. And I was so happy. That was actually my next question is who in your family freaked out the most when you announced that you got this role? <laughs> so <laughs> that's good to know. A little bit more about your characters. So you guys play step siblings. Um, what I found super refreshing about it was that I feel like a lot of times in TV or movies, step siblings get portrayed as rivals and like right off the bat, like they're not friendly, but immediately like Roy, Tyler's character was so excited to have an older sister. So when you guys met, was that like same immediate friendliness and chemistry happening? I definitely think so. I my I think one of my last auditions was a chemistry Zoom. Everything was over Zoom with oh, wow. Tyler. And I was like, oh my God, that was I got, I remember I got off with my mom and I told my mom, I was like, that was that was Roy. That was definitely Roy on there because you know, Tyler, he really captures, obviously Roy's this jock. He's this, everybody loves him. He's popular. He gets everything, but he is really, you know, he's really sweet. He wants a sister. He's doing everything he can to welcome Viv into Dimsdale. And I really mm -hmm. think Tyler captures that character perfectly. Ah, uh, Audrey, <laughs> you, 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 you are so sweet. You are the kindest. And I'm not just saying this to like, you know, just to like everyone to be like, oh, okay. No, you are like the best scene partner anyone could ask for. Cause you literally, you're so smart. You're, you're so like, in, you, you like take notes great. You, you're, you're always on top of everything. And you're so kind when I'm feeling sad, you make me feel happy. And you know, you've been the best person I could ever ask for. And I think Roy and Viv really <laughs> capture that. Yeah, they really, it really comes across on the screen. And I guess one of my questions now is like how difficult was the whole casting process doing over zoom especially with such like a with with this style of show like the dialogue's quick like you're feeding off of the energy of the other people in the scene but doing over zoom there's lags people are blurry like how difficult was that I'd say it was pretty pretty difficult it was a very long process too and also everything everyone the whole production was in California and me and Tyler both I think almost everyone was New York time I'm in LA now but it was like so it was also super late too because it was LA time so it was super late they were really long but I mean eventually we got there I think that's all that matters even thinking back now I'm trying to like find things that are bad but I can't even say anything bad about it because we have an amazing outcome you guys share a lot of scenes obviously with Cosmo and Wanda how are they doing that? Are they little tennis balls on sticks or <laughs> what are you guys acting against? <laughs> for, yeah, for rehearsal and blocking and stuff, you know, the fairies are like their own little people. So it was like, it was almost like a selfie stick, I guess, it, with a little picture of Wanda and Cosmo on them. And then we had stand-ins, ma they mastered the voices perfectly. It was so funny. And oh, wow. basically act and rehearse everything with your fairies there. And then we you just shoot it with nothing there so that way they can animate it on top so it was a little confusing I'd say the first episode but by the end you got so used to it it was like so normal acting against basically nothing so Tyler I saw in a later episode you guys actually get to make use of the time scooter which I remember from from my day um, and you guys go back in time to 1996 so both of you if you had a real life time scooter where are you going you going past future Ooh. I mean, I mean, I feel like the you know the past is boring. The past is boring. <laughs> I need to see what's going on in the future. So I I take that scooter. I put like forty ninety five or whatever, and then I'd go oh, wow. and then I'd see what's going on. See if we've developed or if our world is destroyed and it's broken. I, mean, I don't know. I might have to be a little lame and go back really far. I'd probably go back to like 
Mm, I'd say maybe like 1800s or something like with okay. like princessy outfits or I'm also a very big Hamilton fan so I might go back and become buddies with Alexander Hamilton right on you guys have a huge musical cast do you have dreams of a musical episode is there a musical episode to look forward to I definitely I think as the show went on I think the writers got more comfortable <laughs> I think it turned into more of a musical show there those are probably my favorite stuff to film is the songs and stuff but I would love like a full on full musical episode that is like only songs. I do have a huge musical background. That's kind of where it started. And you know, the executive producer of our show, Samantha Martin, she's very smart. She's very talented. She (laughs) went to NYU, like uh, theater school. So basically, so basically the whole thing was a musical. I would really love to see like just a full out, you guys make a wish. (laughs) Everybody has to sing all of their feelings. What Broadway song, what musical song, what pop song are your characters singing? If we get this musical episode. I think, hmm, I'm trying to think. I feel like maybe Viv would do, I feel like it'd be wicked. I feel like she would have her wicked moment. Be (laughs) defying. (laughs) I definitely feel like that would be her choice. I feel like I would choose Book of Mormon. I mean- (laughs) But I feel like Moy would choose like, I don't know, like Rock of Ages or something or like. Yeah, I can just imagine though Roy with like the big 80s hair wig and like, I think it would be fantastic. So I'm going to wrap up with my last question. You guys make all kinds of crazy wishes, obviously. Um, What wish or crazy moment, completely out of context, don't give me any real spoilers, but what crazy moment are you most excited for fans to see? that happens during the series. All right, I'm not gonna give you the whole gist, but I'm just gonna say gold. I'm gonna say episode 10, Codzillard. I'm that's all I'm gonna say. I think you'll see it gets pretty, it, that, that one's probably one of my favorite wishes. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with me. This was great. It was a blast, it really warmed my heart. You know, I heard the theme <laughs> song go in and Even though the lyrics have changed a little bit, I still felt it. Still that same energy. It was great. Really, really great work, guys. Thank Thank you so much. much.